Hey guys, take a minute to video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone if the SIM card is not working on your iPhone or you're getting uh, no service, uh, invalid SIM or no SIM at all or your phone stopped working for a carrier like you can't make calls or text anyone. So let's get started. So whenever you have this issue, there could be a couple things going on with your phone. So the very first thing you want to do is pull down the control menu from the top here and we're going to turn on airplane mode mode for about a few seconds and then turn it back off and all it does is a quick network refresh so if there was any connectivity issue usually it's resolved with a quick turning on and off the airplane mode now you can also do this by going into settings and then you'll see here the option for airplane mode you can turn it on and off as you can see here things are like wi-fi bluetooth turn off in the cellular as well when i do this it puts it on airplane mode and that's in a way to refresh it, give it a nice refresh. Now, after you have done that and it's not working still, or you're getting still no service or no SIM or SIM not working, simply force restart your iPhone. To do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button on the right hand side. Just like that, you're going to keep on holding the side button on the right hand side, like we're doing. Wait till the screen goes completely black, and then once you see the Apple logo reappear, and then we're going to go let go of that side button just like that so again really quick volume up and down one after another and then you'll hold that big side button until the screen goes black and you see the apple logo again this gives the iphone a way to you know, restart again but reload the code so if there was any software issue causing the sim to not be reading it or working correctly it will resolve that issue now after you have done that and you're still having issues let's say for some reason you're still getting uh, the same as still isn't working or you're get, not getting any phone service anything like that the next thing you can do is if you have a phone that has a physical sim card so on the iphone here i have iphone 14 pro here but on the new iphone 14 models in the u.s there is no longer a physical sim card so you can't really do that but if you have an older phone like the iphone uh, 13 and anything older all you can do is you can actually take the physical SIM card if your phone is using the physical SIM card. So the physical SIM card is on the left hand side. Here you'll see here the pin or on the right hand side depending if you have an older model. And you'll take the SIM ejector tool which comes in your box like this. If you ever looked at your construction pamphlet here, you'll notice here, open it up, you'll see here there's a tool like this. That's the SIM ejector tool. Or if you don't have this, you can take a paper clip, bend it, or a earring piece, basically anything to fit in this hole, and you're gonna pop this in just like that. And then you take a look at it, and you see, you should see what inside it here is a SIM card for you. And the SIM card here, again, as you can see here, is just like that. Just take it out and make sure it's not damaged, wet, or anything like that as well. Sometimes if it's a damage, it might not be working, and you might uh, have to contact your carrier to get a new one. And then insert it right back in. So gonna line it up and make sure when you do take it off that it sits correctly and then press it back in and it should sit flush like that and that will reinitialize the SIM card and hopefully if you had any issues with your SIM card this time it should be fixed now after you have done that and you're still having issues with you know SIM card not working there's a couple other things you can do and the next thing you can pretty much do to fix it is by uh, going into your settings of your phone and then go into general and then once you go into general you're going to go down all the way where it says transfer reset iPhone and you're going to click on the first reset option and then the reset that we want to do is a network reset and this will generally take about a minute or two and what this will do before you do it is it's going to reset all of your network settings like saved Wi-Fi any VPN settings anything network related settings it will not delete your personal data like photos videos or apps or anything like that just a quick way to reset all the network connectivity thing which you'll do if you're still having issues with the sim card not being read now after you have done that it's still not working the next thing you want to do again be in your settings here go to general software update and make sure that your phone is up to date with the latest version sometimes a previous update might have broken it or cause some issues all you want to do is if there's a software update available download and install make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi or cellular data and your battery is at least 50% or more so you can do the update here which you'll download and install now after you have done that and it's still not working 
uh, pretty much the last thing you can do is actually contact your carrier, the company that you get phone service from, validate with them, verify that your phone service is actually active, and ask them to kind of troubleshoot as well. Sometimes it could be that the reason why you're having issues is there's some network outages or on their end that they need to do something or push a new update out for you, and hopefully by then, your issue is resolved. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.